It is almost here in just a few days. It's the Chicago Marathon, but with a new look, the route is changing somewhat this year. For runners, they've been preparing for nearly a year for this. At least. CBS 2's Lauren Victory live for us along the marathon course with a look at what is changing. Hi, Lauren. Hey there, Marie and Jim. Well, it must be official. Marathon weekend's here because check it out. We got some barricades. Organizers tell me every year they're making tweaks to that course. And we do know that one of the biggest changes is instead of runners continuing down Wentworth, they'll be cutting it east this year, down 26th and heading towards Michigan. Now, previously, cruising down Wentworth did take runners along the Dan Ryan. They passed under viaducts in an area that often struggled to attract spectators. Now the path takes racers down Michigan Avenue in Bronzeville. Organizers tell us they felt it was more aesthetically pleasing to both the runners and fans with a nice view of trees, a park, and some home and businesses. The route change is welcomed news to the family that owns Lisa's tea shop on Wentworth. For years, the street in front of their business was shut down for hours because of the race. We do have a parking spot. Uh, it does, uh, you know, by closing the streets, no cars can come in. So this way it does uh, have more access to the people. Other changes to the course include a stretch along Wacker to eliminate a teeny bit of an incline runners used to encounter near the river. Repeat racers may also notice a tiny tweak in Pilsen that had to be made to keep the distance to an accurate 26.2 miles. Now right here in this area, this is about mile 22. If you can imagine 40,000 runners flying this way down 26th to Michigan. Coming up at 6, I'll tell you about an important registration change. For now, reporting live in Chinatown, I'm Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. It is an inspirational sight to see all those runners, Lauren. Thank you.